Chicago-based Cresco Labs, <laughs> Illinois' largest cannabis cultivator, went public in Canada today. Mm. Charlie Bachtel, Cresco Labs CEO, is with us now. Why do you go public in, China, in, uh, in Canada? Uh, good morning. Thanks for having me. So, you know, the reason that we went uh, public in Canada is access to capital markets and the capital that we need in order to continue to normalize and professionalize the cannabis space. This was the, uh, this was the vehicle for us. This is the, the vehicle that's available to U.S. operators right now. Now, you guys grow it, uh, you distribute it, and you retail it. Is that right? You're a sort of a vertically integrated cannabis company. Correct. We're vertically integrated. At this point in the, in the industry, it's super important to be able to control every element of the supply chain and the value chain. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's what is going to allow us to continue to be the leader in, in executing here with getting into new markets, becoming operational fast, and really creating a consumer products good approach to cannabis. What's this I hear about you're putting out edibles, something to eat with marijuana in it? with from menu items um, from James Beard. Is that, that accurate? You know, it, it's a perfect example of the way that we wanted to approach this space, which was, again, normalizing and professionalizing it. One of the ways to do that is bring subject matter experts in at every element of what we're doing. And so working with a James Beard award-winning chef to develop our line of edibles, Mindy's Edibles, it seemed like an obvious decision for us, and uh, we were fortunate to be able to do it. Why is there a cannabis shortage in Canada? Uh, you know, so the Canadian market, it, it's a new market, right? The, the regulated uh, adult use market up there is regulated. And, and as uh, you know, you've seen uh, U.S. markets that when they transition from medical to adult use, they could also have, you know, that supply chain sort of hiccup at the beginning. But, um, you know, I think uh, Canada is going to be fine. And I think the U.S. Uh, markets are going to be uh, even better. We were told that 40% uh, of the cannabis sold in Colorado is in the edible form. Um, I'm told that that is accurate. Is that because people want to say high stoned all day and they can do it by popping a caramel or something and there's no smell? Is that what's going on? <laughs> You know, I, I think there's, there's several reasons for it. And again, if you look at sort of Cresco's mission, again, to normalize the cannabis space, uh, the precise dosed nature of an edible is what makes that form really appealing. You know that that, that product has exactly 10 milligrams of THC in it. Again, if you're, if you're a consistent operator and a, a reliable, reliable operator. But yeah, that's, that's why I think uh, that form will be one of the forms that continues to grow and continues to bring new people into the cannabis space. Look, thanks very much for being with us, Charles. We do appreciate it, and congratulations going public today. We'll hear more about that a little bit later. Thanks very Thank much. You very, Thank you very much for having us. Sure thing. Got it.